Welcome, Georger. Look, I'm already missing the Halloween mask. I know you are too, but don't worry, Christmas is just around the corner. In today's video, we're going to be talking about dead fellas, and if it's worth your time and hard-earned money to scoop up during the dip. Guys, I am literally working 24-7 to bring you the very best content, trying to cover every single NFT project that you've probably heard of. Yesterday, we covered Mutant Cats, and tomorrow, we got Fluff World, and we have Lazy Lions. So, if you're ready to actually learn how to make money in NFTs and not listen to influencers show you on projects that literally pumped yesterday what the fuck is the deal with that why why even talk about a project that already pumped just so you can tell well i told you like no you didn't no you didn't otherwise everyone would have gotten in like literally how is that helpful remember my main goal is to equip you with the knowledge and confidence it's going to take to navigate this metaverse so if that sounds good to you you know what to do smash that thumbs up button so i know after all everything i'm putting on youtube is for free it only takes one second of your time so thank you so much i appreciate everyone's support the last two weeks has literally been fucking life-changing it's been absolutely crazy my twitter and youtube are right up like they're they're almost the exact same as far as growth so thank you so much and uh yeah we'll get into the video All right, so today we got dead fellas. So we got a floor price of 0.579, volume traded 7.1 thousand Ethereum, 5,000 owners, 10,000 items on the blockchain. So this is what they look like. It's actually interesting. I think this is the only project that the people are angled this way. It's the most bizarre, like, lower you remember like in elementary school we had those uh those photo shoots for the yearbook and you had to sit there and just like that's what these photos look like i remember this because i remember when this had first started i passed up on this project actually you'll notice i say that in a lot of these videos i've actually passed up on so many projects it fucking hurts but it is through all those mistakes that i'm able to bring you all the alpha now let's take a look at their activity real quick so they uh they had a little bit of a a chill start you know like it wasn't anything like nuts just like 0 0.2 0 0.3 for a long time and then they just had a spike dude they went from 0 0.2 just straight up to two two eth and then since then it's kind of it's kind of started to crumble a little bit since since the end of september like a lot of projects and now we are in this moment where everyone's calling buy the dip buy the dip so in today's video we're going to determine whether or not that's a good idea in two videos ago I actually told you it's not a good idea to buy the dip in the Halloween Bears video if you want to watch that. I'll link that in the description. And then yesterday's video of Mutant Cats, I told you it probably was a good idea. So if you want to watch, watch that, I'll also link that in the description. We do not pull punches here on this channel. We tell it how it is. So let's look at their Etherscan real quick just to check out what their holders are looking like. So on Etherscan, uh, you can click over here on holders and you can kind of see if there's any kind of like whales. And here, the, the biggest whale is 1% that's chill there's really no chance to a rug pull here unless everyone here was the same person which is it's clearly not so we got their website here i, I do want to quickly talk about the art for me i'm not a big fan i don't know if it's the green that i don't like or what but for me like personally aesthetically i would fucking never use this as an avatar in the metaverse that is something i take into consideration when i invest because i think ultra long term with my investments specifically in nfts this is not a project personally i would buy for an aesthetic visual reason but we are going to talk about some of this you know the functionality the utility the technical shit uh, a little bit later in the video so we got their little roadmap thing so already they've gotten verified on open sea listed on rarity tools creation of nft 20 liquidity pool meme challenge acquisition of the Decent decentraland estate and then all those are pretty chill i mean those are those are pretty standard for like all projects acquisition of dead fellows decentraland estate 24 plot that is actually very interesting there's not a lot of projects i can say the same Decentraland, if you don't know, or uh, their token, Mana, M-A-N-A. -A. It is an NFT gaming platform, so it looks like the dead fellows are trying to enter some sort of game world. Kind of similar to like Minecraft, Sims, like it looks like that kind of thing. So I'll pull up some pictures. Here is the Gates of Dead Zone 13. So that's their, that's one of the plots they have, I guess. It's called the Dead Fellows Decentraland City. Um, looks cool. So like if you can kind of like picture yourself in this it's kind of hard but if you've ever played video games where you know what vr is like it's it's crazy and so this is really cool this is probably the the best thing i found out about this project the thing that sets this project a little bit you know outside the scope of all the standard projects that i've seen but hold on dead is not getting off the hook that easily upcoming they have a derivative art challenge they've got a headhunter competition i don't know what that means they got a theme song contest development of the decentraland estate um they got some airdrops they got some a bunch of art stuff. So I'm pretty sure that a lot of the founders are pretty creative. We're going to get into the team in a second here. So Betty is the concept creation and community lead. Um, she is a mother of three. We'll check out her Twitter real quick. Um, creative producer, feminist, empty corrector, collector, 
uh, a mother. She, I remember I saw her pinned tweet. This is pretty cool. Big fan of that. Big support. That's fucking awesome. Her husband, Sykes I couldn't actually find his Twitter, but I'm pretty sure he's in the Discord. I've seen some, like, I've seen his name pop up a lot, so I'm just going to assume he's in there. Uh, hopefully they didn't get divorced or something. Oh, wait, hold on. I just found his Twitter. Okay, so I, they must have had the wrong link on the website. Okay, here's, here's, uh, the husband of Betty. Here's his, uh, here's his Twitter page. I, I literally just found this, like, while I'm filming this. So it looks like he's part of a couple artistic nft stuff what they probably did is they said hey look we'll take care of all this shit we'll do all of it all you gotta do is just worry about the the stuff that we don't get you know and that's that's what the team is for that's that's good that there's a lot of people that will start a, a company or a brand and they'll try and do everything even if they suck at it and basically the rule of thumb is don't do that shit don't don't do it and, you know as, as soon as you can hire out someone who's better than you do that so i like that they they kind of knew themselves and were like look we're very fucking creative we're very fucking artistic we don't know jack shit about business probably so let's hire some people that are capable and he's in charge of the art lead so it looks like these two are in charge of like everything creative for the team and the last two they, these guys are pseudo anonymous they're not fully doxxed yet which again as I, I said in like every single video that's becoming very normal now so we got dead fellow 1603 in, tra in charge of metadata smart contracts technical shit this is their twitter founder of this generative art platform on polygons so it's actually kind of cool i'm actually going to look into this a little bit i don't know anything about polygons platform yet they're very very new um he's a creator of this nft uh set didn't do fantastic it's very interesting i looked into it i don't think i'm going to invest in it but it is good that he has a little bit of experience just running and working on a team for nfts and yeah he works with the front end the web all the technical shit for dead fellows and finally we have kingmaker website and minting support she's gonna be in charge of all the website all that kind of coding shit and then taking care of anything from the support line this is their twitter um they are actually so this person whoever i don't know who they are but they they founded the the nouns dao which I actually looked into because it was interesting to me. And look at this shit. So the concept behind this uh, this noun thing is it like it creates and pops out this new noun, I guess they're calling them. I guess they're numbered. So I guess there's been 93 of them so far. And every time there's an auction that ends, the next one just gets popped out like a fucking baby. And then people bid on it. And so right now the minimum is one. And it says on their website that they're doing it forever. So like this will just happen forever until the end of time. I have no idea how that's going to create value. I don't know how an inflationary asset like that is supposed to survive. I have no idea if it's backed up by mainly art. It looks like the Dead Fellows just entire everything is centered around art. And I'll get into why I think that a little bit later in the video. There are some other reasons. But yeah, um, I don't know how successful that project is. But it is good that they're, uh, you know, they're dabbling in other projects. And they have a little bit of experience. I like that. So this is Dead Fellows Twitter account. They got 33,000 followers. Not important because we don't know if those are bots. We don't know what the deal is. There's a lot of projects that don't have that many followers that are doing amazing. There's a lot of projects that have a ton of followers that blow dick like Mecca. This is some kind of virtual concert that they did in Decentraland, which is interesting. It's very cool. I haven't been able to find literally anything else because this has just been everything um, for their like past couple weeks kind of thing they're talking about. Steve Aoki had a little concert, so I don't know if you guys know him. I've heard of him like once. He's some big DJ music person. Um, 8 million people on Twitter. He's got a crypto punk. He's verified. That's cool. Got 3 million followers. Uh, it's like a music channel on YouTube. I'm like 90% sure I know who this is, but I don't actually like know who it is. It looks like he's in a Pokemon that maybe that's where I saw him or something. Regardless, a major, major influencer in this project. But it looks like people are excited. I got 300 likes, 89 retweets. And I just saw this. So in New York City, I know you guys know the NFT New York City, like, thing is happening right now and i guess they got a dead fellas billboard massive sign thing in times square that's actually fucking awesome i remember space punks did that a few months ago they probably pulled the trigger a little early there because that kind of just like drove the hype up and then it kind of just has crashed since then but this is dope i like this so i popped in the discord just to see what was up inside the chat everyone's pretty chill there's no one freaking out about the floor no one's screaming why floor dropping why is the floor dropping no panic cells looks like everyone's looking to pick up the dip looks like people are talking about like, they're excited for roadmap 2.0 like this guy's saying and i think it's probably because i'm sure that the founders have been very very transparent about the fact that this is a very art driven creatively driven project because as you guys remember from the beginning of the video everything that's upcoming like 75 percent of it's art related so i don't think this project is for everybody i think it depends on on why you're investing for into art this project looks really fucking promising they're trying to i guess work the music angle and try and get into that creative side they're probably going to try and get stevie oki's uh, connections and do something there they're doing some giveaways some one of ones i think that's pretty cool 
but they do have a roadmap 2.0 that's coming out it's too bad that i'm filming this before that's happening i have no idea what that's gonna bring it's k from the future dead fellows came out with roadmap 2.0 the day after I recorded this video and I don't have time to re-record the whole thing. So we're just gonna pretend like I'm from yesterday. Is that cool? Dead Friends coming December 13th. Um, some type of companion projects coming. Maybe that'll do well. If there's a reason for that companion to do well, there will. If there's some kind of utility or some kind of thing that it offers. I'm not sure what it would as there's no game, there's no development other than mainly art projects coming up. So I don't know what the, I don't know what the demand would be for that project but so they've got a collaborative partnership with on cyber um you'll be able to purchase through their factory collection and this gives you the opportunity to display your nfts in a metaverse horde style so that so this is basically like a 3d experience to show your nfts it's a way for artists and collectors to show them in a fully immersive and they say a lot of times it's like vr and ar so that's actually pretty cool but again that's only in demand if the people want that or care to have that they got some brand partnerships coming up apparently we'll see if that's true or not New NFT platform listing. That's kind of risky just because if the demand's not there. They got merch, just like everybody else. They got stickers. That's actually interesting. I kind of like that idea. They got some more exclusive Dead Zone 13 gigs. So it looks like some more artists, music maybe. All right, for Q4 2022, they got Toys and Plushies partnered up with U2's Collectibles. I haven't heard of that, but let's check them out real quick. So they turn these little creature character things into like plush toys. I'd be fucking terrified if I had a Dead Fellows toy, to be honest. So that's not something that interests me. But if you like the, if you like the art, if you like them personally, I think that'd actually be pretty cool. So they want some merch partnerships coming up, but they don't want to rush it. I like that idea. Looks like they're trying to empower musicians in the community. Um, by trying to some, I assume they're probably gonna do maybe like a raffle or some kind of competition and be like, whoever wins gets to perform at dead Fells, uh, zone 13. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, they said they're going to have some development in the sandbox. So that's cool. So as we get deeper, like Q2, Q3, Q4 of 2022, these things are definitely subject to change. I don't even know if this is important to read, but I'm going to do it anyway, just so you know. So it looks like they want to do some kind of DAO, some kind of voting system to do things, but they want to, they don't want to rush it. I'm sure there's some legal things and stuff we don't know about that goes behind the scenes that we just, as consumers, you don't really think about, you know? So I, I guess that little thing we talked about earlier with those U2's collectibles, they'll probably, that'll be probably phase one. And then they're looking to make that into an entire 3D model collection. That's cool. I mean, again, if you like the project, if you like the art, if you like the characters, you're going to have a good time, I think. Okay, so now that Robot 2.0 came out, I'm going to re redo this little outro here and, and talk about what I think about the project because obviously... My uh, my perspective has changed now that they do have a roadmap because the the outro I had filmed already was literally just me saying there's not much going on moving forward that I know so far. So do I is this a project I would uh, I would invest in the dibs? This is a project I'm trying to get in for me no, um, but I have no problem. I mean I don't think this is a bad project by any means. I think this project will actually do very well. I think they're going to have a very strong community. The artistic community is very strong. They look like they're putting that forward, and as they should, the creators stuck with that. They told them that was their thesis. They're sticking with it. I like that. They're pushing you know um people trying to do music they're doing brand partnerships they're trying to do a little th some stuff a little bit different for me it's a little bit too artistic but that's totally subjective that's totally personal to me but if you're into the art you know as i said earlier i'm not really into the art personally but if you're into the art and you're super artistic this is definitely a project for you i don't see anything terrible happening you know in its future um, that nothing gives me that indication. And yeah, I think most projects are still going to have um, more floor prices dropping. I don't see anything crazy happening in the next, you know, couple days. So if you're looking to buy in the dip, maybe wait just a couple more days. I think it might actually get down a little bit even more. And that's all I got today, guys. We have uh, Lazy Lions coming up next. We got a lot, a lot of projects coming up. I'll be covering every single NFT project you can think of. So make sure you subscribe with the bell notifications on. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. And the Discord. You're going to want to be connected because your network is your net worth in this NFT industry. I'm working 24 7 to bring you guys the best content on YouTube. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button if you haven't already. I appreciate all the support I've gotten recently. It's been absolutely incredible. And until then, continue to learn, persist, and be grateful you're here watching this video. Bye.